Hey, hey, Marcus House with you here. Today we are creating our vessel to get to a stable orbit from the Kerbal Space Center launch pad in the fastest time possible. What we're doing here, of course, is starting off with our very small fuel tank. We've just got the tiniest little probe core on top. And uh, actually, we'll just double this up and we'll add one huge vector engine underneath here. Now we want to make this thing as light as possible, so we're going to add the external command seat on top there. And uh, just so that we can punch ourselves out of the atmosphere super quickly, we're going to just add a few little components here uh, with a heat shield on top. We're going to use our heat shield as a hat. Uh, and it's going to be Burberry Kerman, I think, that's going up here today. So uh, yes, we need to protect Burberry with a heat shield hat. Also, what I've done here is removed all of the ablator. I didn't actually show it here in this clip, but that leaves it a few hundred kilograms lighter. Working on our second last stage here now, using those Rocker Max fuel tanks, and we're going to load the bottom of this with a whole heap of vector engines. Uh, one here for the center, obviously, and we're going to just attach a bunch more around the outside there. But first, uh, yes, just hooking up. You'll see me using auto strut here a little. We want to actually make sure that this whole thing is nice and stable. Um, and there we go. We'll pop those vector engines in underneath there. Now, just because our central engine is now a little higher there, we want to level that down. So we'll add a small fuel tank underneath here as well uh, and level all that out. And then we can add a decoupler to this thing, get rid of those shrouds there. So that second last stage there, having a delta V of 2,249 meters per second. And yes, it's got quite a large thruster weight of between 8.58 and 17, depending on how much fuel's left in the tank. So we are now working on this final stage here now, which is going to have some asparagus staging set up here. We're kicking off this thing with seven mammoth tanks, but that's not all. We're actually going to be adding some more vector engines underneath all these mammoth tanks here shortly. So what I want to do here is add four of the vector engines in between all of the existing uh, mammoth engines that are actually poking out there. Uh, hopefully not clipping them too badly. Now that I've got those outside ones set up, I'll just copy that and whack it over the top of the central one again so I don't have to remake it. So there we go there. What we're going to do now is just cap these uh, these mammoth stages off with the slanted fuel tanks coming right up to a point just to make it a little more aerodynamically awesome. <laughs> I couldn't find the technical word I was looking for there. Anyway, what we're doing now is going to link all of these stages up with our external fuel ducts. Now we're going to drop these engines off in pairs, basically losing the first, then the second. And uh, the third one is probably going to largely drain with our central engine there. I'll just add some stability enhancers to this thing and essentially what I want to do here is fire the stability enhancers off, decouple those, I want to fire the engines, everything all at the same time just so that we can increase our speed to orbit. Now instead of just sitting here watching me set up my asparagus stages and reorganizing my staging process, let's go and check out some of the awesome entries from this challenge. So I've arranged all of these in order of speed to orbit as far as I have been able to tell from the footage that I've been supplied. So I've compiled all of these into hopefully quite an entertaining little montage of challenges. So enjoy everybody. I will be back shortly.
Okay there, so the time I need to beat is 1 minute 24 seconds, so we've just added a new crew capsule to the top of this thing which we can jettison, we're gonna pop Burberry Kerman in this thing, he is our test pilot today, let's see how he goes here. We'll start off by EVAing Burberry Kerman out into the command seat there. And we can now ditch this thing now, we don't need it at all, we can turf that, we just needed that to get him into the seat. <laughs> and just ignore the fact that he's got an octagonal strut sticking out of his head, poor Burberry, he's happy to make the sacrifice for this journey. Like any journey though, there is no guarantee that Burberry is coming back, I mean for starters there is no fuel to return this thing. So here we go, attempt number 6, the most skin roasting of all attempts, let's launch this thing. Now I think I've perfected the ascent of this thing, I've had about 15 tries at this now, hopefully this is the one that I'm going to keep. Ditching that second asparagus stage pair, you can see now that I've chosen to run these last remaining three with the same amount of fuel, so they're not actually feeding into each other at all. We are pitched here to around the 65 degree mark on the nav ball. We can't pitch over any more heavily without burning Burberry's face off, so let's not do that. Getting a lot of heat here now before we decouple this stage and firing all of those seven vector engines. Just keeping our throttle quite low here before we try to turn horizontal. We can't turn too quickly otherwise we're going to burn Burberry. And there we go, we're turning now, turning now, full throttle. <laughs> oh good lord, he's roasting. As we climb up towards this 70 kilometer mark, we're going to thrust extremely hard towards the radial in marker. Decoupling that final stage, we have a massive thrust await in this last stage, come on, come on! And yes, 59 seconds, yes, under a minute, that is awesome, that is unbeatable!
<laughs> yes, obviously I am quite beatable then, aren't I? A very great run there by Eric at 50 seconds, beating mine by 9 whole seconds. And then a very bizarre one there by Jonas, uh, who came in at 43 seconds, using an interesting exploit there with landing legs. Interesting one there, Jonas. I will leave it up to the comments to decide who the real winner is there. There is a link in the description to the full playlist with all of the raw entries there, so check them all out if you want to see more. As we leave Burberry Kermit up here in orbit with no way to return home, he's got no fuel left. We will thank everybody for participating in this challenge. And of course, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions for me, please do whack them down in the comments below. Thanks very much to all of my wonderful subscribers. You are all awesome. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to see more though. Follow me on Twitter at Marcus House Game, and we'll see you in the next video. We have an action group set up to undock all three vessels if you need it, and we can simply just thrust forward to have all of the uh, all of the vessels come out at the same time. How cool is that? So we can now pop the three solar panels out on each of our space submarines. And uh, yes, we can save...